Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming a 36 hour readathon. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm assuming a few people have done this before. It's basically 24 hour readathon but longer. I really don't want to try staying up all night and so instead I thought I'll add some hours to the mix. Today's plan is inspired by Emma from Drinking By My Shelf. I say inspired, it's pretty much copied. She did a 24 hour readathon reading all the series of unfortunate events books i was like i feel the need to do that and so went out and bought all of the <sighs> series of unfortunate events books which are really 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 heavy oh so we have all of these and we're gonna read them all in the next 36 hours it is half one now i'm gonna start reading well it's 26 minutes past so i'm gonna start reading four minutes when it hits half one and we're gonna see how fast I can do this. I cannot read continuously because I do have to go and fetch my boyfriend from work, meaning that's gonna take 45 minutes out of my day reading, which is why I've given myself a little bit of extra time for sleeping, taking and picking up from work, cooking, cause he's incapable. <laughs> the world would go down without me. But we do have some audiobooks available, not all of them. On Scribd, a couple of them are available in my country. And so that'll make it easier for the times that I need to be listening to an audiobook. I'm going to read my physical book for about half an hour and then I'm going to switch to the audiobook and make myself some dinner. And we're going to go from there and let's just see how quickly we can keep going with these and how fun they are. Because I think I've only read the first, first few and I have no memory of them whatsoever. <laughs> And like Violet wanting to create things all the time. Oh, I just love it so much. I love the writing style in this, it's very different and unique. I'm on page 88, still on the first book. Mr. Poe makes me so angry. How can you be so dumb? Like, this book is just driving me crazy because all they keep going back to him for help, and then he's like, Well, he's not really doing anything wrong. And it's like, No, just beating the kids. So it has been exactly one hour. It is now half past two, and I have finished the first book in the series, which is great because I was listening to the audiobook for a lot of it while eating. So we are well ahead of the game. We are going to now move on to The Reptile Room, which is the second book. This book is a little bit longer, I think. Just a little bit longer, almost 200 pages. So we're going to move on to this. Hopefully this will only take me an hour as well, because I have nothing planned. Like, there's no, I'm not going to use the audiobook or anything. At least I don't think I am. So I should get through this in an hour. past two and we have finished the reptile room is it 20 past two or is it 20 past three so it's half one to half two should be half three now <laughs> i think it's half three and i have finished this which is the second book going on to the wide window which is the third book and this book is a little bit longer, so we're in the 200 pages now. I'm going to take a quick break to go make an iced coffee for myself. I'm trying to get as much done now so it takes the pressure off later when I have to get into the big books. So my coffee machine decided to play absolute havoc with me, so it took me 30 minutes to make an iced coffee. 30 minutes. But we have it. And we're finally going to sit down. 10 to 4. And read. 
Oh, that's so annoying. So I'm hoping to finish this by five. It's an hour and 10 minutes. This is a bit longer than the other one, so hopefully I will be able to. couldn't remember that they were allergic to peppermints even though he's known them since they were born and yet in the first book it was like they knew who he was you know he'd come down come around to the parents house a couple of times for the dinner parties but it didn't say they were that close they weren't like oh yeah he would know our allergies i hate mr poe and all but like how was he supposed to know that i'm also getting really sick of the this means and i'm not when the people are telling it but when like Lemony Snicket is saying it, so he's like, she would break out in hives. A phrase here means be covered in red itchy patches for a few hours. I understand it's for kids, but like, you don't have to explain every word. Just don't use the stupid words all the time. It's driving me crazy to read. so much it didn't seem polite to ask how she became a dowager i don't know how to say that word either well let's put you in a taxi what does that word mean violet asked mr poe looked at violet and raised his eyebrows i'm surprised at you violet a girl at your age should know that a taxi is a car which will drive you someplace <laughs> oh my god why has that tickled me i'm not sure <laughs> getting there it is 20 to 5 which means it took me only 50 minutes to read the wide window so we got a bit faster actually on that book but now we are moving on to the miserable mill which is the fourth book meaning we have nine books left after this one which kind of hurts to think about <laughs> um but i think i'm gonna move over to the couch because i'm sick of the bed and i need a change of scenery exactly half past five and I have finished Amid the Miserable Mill. So we are moving on to book five which is the Oster Academy. Um, I don't know how to say that. This one is 221 pages being it the longest that I've had so far but this one took me 50 minutes and was just under 200 pages so this should take me an hour and 10 minutes maybe if I keep reading at the speed I'm reading problem is with these books and reading them all together is they are the same book it is they move to a new relative the relative doesn't look after them right count olaf comes in a disguise they find out it's count olaf they prove it's him and then he escapes there is no variation in these books and it's kind of getting to me now how long it is taking like I'm only on book five. I have read the same story every time and I am bored of it. the Oster Academy <sighs> this one had a little bit of a better ending like it was still the same thing obviously as they all are but 
it was a bit more exciting. I actually really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it might have been my favourite of the lot so far. I really did enjoy that. But we are going on to book six, which is the Ensatz Elevator. I really can't pronounce any of these titles. 257 pages. So we're jumping from like 200 to 257. So this one's going to take me a bit more than an hour. I also have to go and fetch Liam in 45 minutes from work. So I'm not going to be able to read this all in one long sitting. But I'm going to get through as much as I can of it and we're going to go from there. elevator took me two hours because I had to go and fetch Liam <laughs> and I had to cook dinner and things so it took me about an hour of reading and then an hour of doing other things that I had to do uh, I listened to a little bit of the audiobook but it just proved too difficult but yeah it was about an hour and 10 to 20 minutes of reading which is not bad for a 250 page book so we are now moving on to the seventh book which is the vile village it is half eight now so I've been reading for seven hours, <laughs> so I'm getting a bit bored, but we are getting to more adventurous parts now, like they're searching for Count Olaf now, because I don't know if I want to spoil anything, but they're, they're searching for him instead of him searching for them. So at least the dynamics changed a little bit because I'm getting real bored of the same story. But on to this one now, this one has... 256 pages, so roughly the same as the other one anyway. It is 5 to 10 and I just finished the Vile Village, so that took me an hour and 25 minutes, but I listened to pretty much all of it on audiobook because I was getting really, really sick of reading and I could just do other things at the other time, like pit mails and relax. But um, the next two books aren't on audiobook, so I was trying to make the most of this one. Although, as much as I love the audiobook, it's starting to annoy me now because the voice that he uses for Violet is just so croaky and gross. It doesn't make any sense. But... We are done with that one and we are on to number eight, which is the Hostile Hospital. So we have this one and then five more to go, but these are getting bigger and bigger as we go along. This book is exactly the same as the other one, 252 pages. So it should take me about an hour and a half. However, I'm not gonna listen to the audiobook on this one because I can't. I am just going to read it and hopefully if I don't take any breaks, I will be done by 11 to half 11. And then maybe I'll stop for the night and re read the remaining five tomorrow. In terms of page count, I'm about halfway. <laughs> Book size, I'm past halfway. But page count, I think I'm pat just, just at halfway, which is a killer because I have read all day. And I'm so bored of reading the series. They are getting a little bit more dramatic now and a little bit more into less structured. Count Olaf turns up and... He's disguised in this. Well, he's still disguised all the time, but it's becoming a lot more action packed and a lot more interesting. quarter to ten and I finished this which is 250 pages in 50 minutes which is the fastest I've ever read <laughs> so I don't know if I didn't take it in which I don't think I did this seemed to go really fast and I don't remember that much <laughs> so I think maybe I'm getting a bit too tired so I think I'm gonna leave it here for tonight this is book eight so I'll be going into book nine next 
And I think I'm going to do that when I wake up, which is why I'm doing this as a 36 hour readathon, not a 24 hour readathon, because I'm exhausted and I'd like to actually be able to watch some book two today before going to bed. Good morning. Although I say good morning, it's half one, I think. So... I've been up for a while. I just couldn't be bothered to read again because I was getting really, really sick of the story. But I'm decided to carry on. I am going to start with the Carnivorous Carnival. It's actually quarter to two. Quarter to two. Qu quarter to two. <laughs> and I'm finally going to start. So hopefully this will take me to no more than quarter past three, an hour and a half, hopefully. And um, we've got four more books after this and they're all pretty big which sucks. I think I already said what this page count is, but I don't remember because it was last night. 286, so we've got to really blast through this. the carnivorous carnival that was good i enjoyed that one one of the best though i still can't remember the name of the one that was my favorite i can't remember what happened in the one that was my favorite <laughs> uh great but now we're moving on to the slippery slope this one is 337 pages so it is the biggest one we've read so far it is 20 past three and i said i wanted to be done by quarter past three but i actually ended up having lunch through all of that so i had to go and cook so the fact I got through this as fast as I did is amazing to me. So hopefully this will take me an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45. I can't remember if I've got an audiobook for this, but if I have, I'm going to listen to it, which will take me longer. But if I don't, I'm just going to read through it as fast as possible. I have finished The Slippery Slope. That was the most boring one for me. Like, I really didn't like that one at all had no entertaining value to it but story has progressed i listened to that one all on audiobook so it took me a little bit more time but i think it was worth it to not have to sit and read for a little bit now this next book which is the grim grotto 323 pages in it which is less than the other one isn't it looks smaller not by much but it looks smaller <laughs> Grim Grotto. It was fine. Quite intrigued by the ending, so I suppose that gives me a little bit of excitement for the penultimate peril. But this is 353 pages, so I better just get started. This is tiring and not worth the effort, honestly. Not worth it. <laughs> lost the will i've just lost it i'm on 209 and i'm still not on the last book absolutely lost it i don't want to do this anymore i'm bored i'm over it they're great books and all but you can't appreciate it when you're bored of it i will try and continue but I'm struggling. I am looking so rough. Uh, it is 20 to 9. I have finished The Penultimate Peril. I'm tired. I'm so bored. 
there's it's a good series it's just i think it needs to be read slowly not all in one and um kind of over it <laughs> but we're finally on the last one <laughs> the end this one's a little bit shorter that was the longest one at 350 pages this one is only ignoring the epilogue 324 pages so that's 25 pages less than the other one i'm so excited to finish this i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get started i'm just gonna do it it's dark outside and i want to get done now oh it's like oh if you read all of this series you'll be 170 chapters of misery oh, i read 170 chapters in the sugar bowl. Mm. Mm. That, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just don't know. Clearly I had a shower halfway through that book. I apologise. So, I finished. I finished the series. I'm so confused. What was in the sugar bowl that was so important that we had to constantly talk about it for the last four books that we never found out where, when, who, what it was. What was this? What was this ending? This was not... That don't make sense to me. This makes no sense. What just happened? But that does mean that I have finished the entire series of unfortunate events in less than 36 hours because it is actually only half past 10. I took a lot of breaks. I took... How many hours did I take in between? 16 hours between finishing my book and starting a book the next day. So that's pretty good. That means it took me, I can't wait to 21 hours of reading time to read these. That's not bad. That's not bad. I was going to use the audiobook for the last few, but then Scribd banned me. You know what they do? You know how they restrict their access to certain books? Yeah. So I couldn't. I had to read the last few. But I did it. I read all of these books. And if any of you are thinking of doing it, don't. Just don't do it. I'm so glad that's done. I never want to look at a book again. I never want to look at any book ever again in my entire life. I don't understand what's happened. I was like, the first few stories are so repetitive, boring. However, I actually preferred those to the end because I didn't quite enjoy the ending mysterious story that happened. I didn't quite understand the Beatrice and Lemony mystery. I think these would be great books if you didn't read them all in one consecutive go because this was too much to handle and my body is just like, no, thank you. Really nice of you to offer, but no. So I won't be doing that again. I don't encourage anybody to do it because it was torturous. <laughs> thank you to emma to get by my shelf for the inspo i will tag it down below i don't know how she did this and didn't complain about it because didn't love the series but also thought they were quite enjoyable i think i'd give them a 3.5 i think the first few were like a real solid four the end ones are like a three so i'm just gonna put it as a 3.5 if you actually got to this part of the video congrats to you because i wouldn't still be here i mean for the last half of the video i've looked like a complete trash bag but 
thank you so much for sticking around if you have and if you decide to do this video let me know and i will watch it oh, i'm just done bye bye